new Lamborghini Urus SUV spied ahead of 2018 release. Lamborghini Urus will go into production in 2018 powered by a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8, and our first glimpse of the car has arrived. Our first look at what could be the production Lamborghini Urus SUV has arrived, after the car was spotted testing in Denmark ahead of its anticipated release in 2018. We've just had a new set of photos in from our spy photographers, showing the front of the car in more detail than before. Spy pictures published by Danish website Pro Street offer a glimpse at the new Lombo off-roader from the back, and though the car is hidden away under zebra pattern masking, it's clear that the production vehicle will inherit many of the design cues of the Urus concept revealed all the way back in 2012 at the Beijing Motor Show. The sloping roofline is mated with a steeply rising shooter line to create a hunched, sporty rear end, while angular lines dominate the overall shape. The wheel arches with their distinctive shape are lifted straight from the concept and while the tail lights may not be final, the finished product should get the same thin, horizontal rear lights. We've only got a snap of the car's rear so we're still waiting for a glimpse of the new Lamborghini's face, which should be Aventator inspired. In terms of power, Lamborghini has confirmed that it will use a turbo engine in its new Urus SUV. Auto Express understands that a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 will be employed to power the Urus, which is due to go on sale in 2018. Speaking to Auto Express back in 2015, former Lamborghini CEO Stefan Winkelmann stressed that this does not necessarily mean that the firm's sports cars are ready to go turbo yet. For the first time we will have a turbo engine inside we will have a V8, he explained. But the Urus will still be a super sports car among the subs. It will be the most powerful, the fastest, but also one that is easy to drive and handle. This is a major step. We always have a discussion. What is the best engine, for the super sports cars the Huracan and Aventator the best is still naturally aspirated, Without saying we will always be like this the two sports cars currently use V10 and V12 engines respectively. If turbos would be better we will think about it, continued Winkleman. And we will not be ones to say we won't go with that if it is better than what we have today. A V8 turbo will provide lower emissions and plenty of torque for when, if, the Urus ventures off-road. The news also dispels hints that the upcoming SUV would be a plug-in hybrid, as previously thought. On the hybrid subject Winkleman said, it is something we are thinking about, but if I had to say which is the first car that will have some form of electrification, I would immediately blindfold it say SUV. Lombo has already demonstrated its potential capability in this area with the Asturian concept which appeared at the Paris Motor Show in 2014 and featured a 602 bhp V10 engine with a battery pack and twin electric motors for a total of 897 bhp. Winkelmann had already driven a prototype of the SUV when he spoke to us, and provided some tantalizing clues as to what fans can expect. We are on track. I drove the first prototype a couple of months ago and it is an extraordinary car, he said. The exterior design is almost done, on the interior there is a bit more to do. What we have now is a better version of the red concept car you saw in Beijing in 2012. If you put what we are doing today next to the one we had in 2012, I already see that the 2012 car is aging. And Winkleman confirmed there will be only one body steel in the Lamborghini Urus, despite Bentley already hinting that it is ready to spin off an extreme Super Coupe SUV from the recently launched Bentayga. Winkleman also spelled out what else we can expect from the Urus. He continued, you will immediately recognize that it cannot be anything else than a Lamborghini. It is changing from the concept car but for the better. It has to be a daily usable car that can get you comfortably from a to B, yet it has to have a lot of power in terms of acceleration and also top speed. Lamborghini has its sights set on eclipsing stablemate Bentley's Bentayga as the fastest SUV in the world. The Bentayga does 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4 seconds and has a 187 miles per hour top speed, but Winkleman said, we will do our best, 
when challenged if his car would beat it. Unlike the Audi Q7, with which which the Urus will share its architecture, the Urus will have a maximum of four or possibly five seats. Meanwhile, the brand is believed to be close to securing a deal for small manufacturer exemption from European emissions rules. Lamborghini SUV coming in 2018 Lamborghini previously confirmed that it will build an SUV based on the Urus concept for launch in 2018. The brand plans to build 3,000 examples of the Urus SUV, and it is predicted to double the company's current annual sales. It'll see huge investment in Lombo's Italian factory, bringing new jobs and further financial stability. Lombo is keeping its cards close to its chest with details of the new luxury SUV, which will become the third production model in its lineup after the Huracan and Aventador sports cars. But Lamborghini immediately makes reference to the dramatic Urus concept, first seen at the Beijing Motor Show in 2012. The production version will undoubtedly share much of that the Urus styling when it goes on sale in 2018, including the aggressive front end inspired by the Aventador and the steeply raked, coupe-like roofline. We also expect it to ride on the VW Group's new MLB platform architecture that underpins the new Audi Q7 and forthcoming Bentley Bentayga. Lamborghini Urus targets new customers. The Lamborghini Urus concept's Chinese unveiling shows the market that Lamborghini is clearly targeting. China's premium SUV sector is rapidly booming, and is considered the reason that high-end car makers such as Rolls-Royce and Bentley will be joining the fray. However, Lombo also cites the USA, the Middle East, Russia, Germany, and the UK as key markets for the car. Despite the global ambitions for the Urus, CEO Stefan Winkelmann claims the SUV will keep its Italian identity, safeguarding the values of made in Italy worldwide. It will see hundreds of millions of euros invested in Lombo Sant'Agata Bolognese factory to make it capable of building 3,000 Urus examples. The plant will nearly double in size to 150,000 square m, and 500 new jobs are promised on the production line and in extended research and development facilities. Audi chairman Rupert Stadler said, We have proven once more our commitment to Italy as an important automotive industrial nation. The company cites potential customers as Lombo supercar owners who to date have driven SUV models for other brands, as well as a raft of first-time Lamborghini buyers. Details of what will power the SUV are thin on the ground, but the Urus concept did feature a naturally aspirated V10 engine. Since then Winkelmann has told Auto Express that an SUV could be a turbo engine for the first time for us, and that's likely to be the 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 seen in the Audi RS6 and Bentley Continental GT. Figures of up to 600 bhp are rumored, with Stadler commenting the new SUV definitely won't be a soft it.